So today we're gonna go to the Wright Brothers Memorial uh, where the Wright Brothers flew the very first plane. Um, there's everybody as we're set to take off. <laughs> we're set to take off. <laughs> <laughs> no pun intended. Brothers Memorial. <laughs> Here's a, here's a graphic showing what it looked like when they flew, just some information about how far they flew originally, which we're going to go out and see in a second. This talks about the Wright brothers' uh, life, just living in Indiana, moving to Dayton, Ohio, their parents. Some of their family and their church, older brothers. So there were two schools going into figuring out how to fly. Uh, one group thought it was all about power. Uh, another group saying that body control was going to be important. Uh, the Wright brothers were bicycle makers and understood that that was going to be an important part. Uh, in bicycling, you use your body uh, to control the bike and lean. Uh, so they wanted to incorporate that concept into flight. They also had to find the perfect location uh, to try their flying machine. Uh, so here you see some letters written to uh, what would be the National Weather Service uh, to find that location. And they found it here in Kitty Hawk an area that had a lot of wind um, and a completely open area where they could fly without trees and those kinds of obstacles. First attempts weren't so successful, so they had to change their masks and then their, their machine will fly. September 23rd, Orville pilots for the first time. Wilbur and Dan and Tate launch them. The result of my gladder flight what, was a heap of flying flying machine cloth and sticks and, and a heap with me in the center without a bruiser scratch. And <laughs> so it did crash, huh? Left to right, uh, Octave Ibchune, Orville, Wilbur, Augustus, Hearing, George, Spratt, and Dan take relaxing in the shade of 1902 glider. By mid-October, Wilbur and Orville were, were making the first controlled turns in aviation history. Ooh. Looks very different from today. This is a telegram saying they did it. This is 
a piece of fabric that is part of the original plane's wing. Show us how those spin, Vanny. So he would be right in the middle. That'd be pretty terrifying. This is a piece of fabric from the wing and a piece of the original propeller that were taken by Neil Armstrong to the moon on the first uh, manned flight and landing on the moon. So right now we're heading out to where they flew the, uh, their attempts. Uh, so we're first gonna go to the monument um, where they took off from. There are rocks that show each of the areas that they made it to on their attempts. Uh, so we're going out there now. So right now we're coming by replicas of their hangars for the plane. This picture shows the commemoration of a monument that occurred 25 years after the Wright's first flight. It was attended by Amelia Earhart and several other dignitaries. And here's the rock as it appears today. Um, and you're gonna see the other monuments for each of their attempts to fly. They made four successful attempts uh, with the fourth one being the longest. It took uh, 59 seconds for that flight. Obviously, the fourth flight went much further than the others. If you see, the third flight was clear back there. This fourth one was the longest. It took about 59 seconds. And we're way out here. The heat index says it's 110 degrees today. Feels like 110 degrees. That is correct. It does feel like that. Here we are at the fourth end of the fourth flight, 59 seconds, 852 feet piloted by Will. it to the top of the hill where the Wrights conducted their glider experiments uh, before they took off with the, the powered flights and it's a pretty awesome view from here. That's how I'm getting right now. 